hey guys what's up are you having a good day i hope you are doing great by this time so today we're going to talk about how to install JetBrains LiDAR for dotnet developers so we are going to go straight uh, to the point and uh, see how we can download this LiDAR and we will perform the installation and after that we will be having the up and learning environment of rider so that we can learn our .NET uh, project small frame so we are going to go ahead straight to uh, the favorite browser in this case i'm using chrome as my favorite one i'm going to go ahead and type in the search bar i'm going to type for example rider uh, ide like this and once i hit enter you will see that the first link that will come will, will be from jetbrains.com and this is now the provider of the most powerful ide in this world i can guarantee you that i experienced more of the the ids they provide and i want to give a shot to this .net and i decided to give you a tutorial on how to install it so i'm going to go ahead and click on the first link that i am seeing right here and it will open just in a second and if you don't have money to buy please you are guaranteed there is no problem about uh, jet brains they offer you a 30 days uh, trial to try your software and you can enjoy all the features for free for 30 days and after that you can come back and buy it when you have seen that it's worth it and i can guarantee that you will be having a lot of uh, projects to work on so as to earn the money that you can buy this ide enough of talking let's go right away and click on the download button here and once they click there the download will start so we have to wait for this uh, to be done and we will continue with all the processes once the download is complete all right and once the download is complete the setup is going to open and we have to minimize the chrome so as to have a clean workspace so we'll let's wait for the setup to open and, and yes there we go and this is now the welcome screen and the wizard that we have to to choose from and we have to click on continue to start the installation and the first thing that will come for this wizard will be the destination folder on where the jet brain is like that will be installed and in this case it will be on my local disk c program files jet brains and JetBrain is LiDAR 2021.2.2 this is now the current version that I'm going to install you can uh, you can watch this video and you, you are having the different numbers don't get it used to it, they are the same and you can see that the space required on our hard drive is 2.4 gigabytes and the this setup is letting you know what to take on your storage so as to be aware alright so go ahead and click on next and once you reach here you will have uh, to choose from all this one there are, there will be some checked and unchecked boxes and the first one is to create a desktop shortcut i'm going to go ahead and uh, check this and to update the variable in the path and this will require to restart and you will have to restart your pc uh, to make the changes but as i am showing you i will never restart mine because i can lose all the data here so go ahead and click next and the starting menu name will be JetBrains. I'm okay with that one. Go ahead and place install. And you can bring down this show details tab so as to see what's going on. And when you meet with any problem or issue, you can come and uh, observe in the logs and you can tackle where there is a problem. So let's wait for this to be done. All right, cool. Once this is done, and we can go ahead and click on finish. And when we take a closer look, we can see it is now suggesting another option to reboot. And this is now the option that we choose so as to have this IDE up and running without any error. So I'm going to click on uh, I want to manually reboot later so as to never uh, lose my data. So go ahead and click on finish and once you click on there you can observe on your desktop there will be the jet brains lidar go ahead and double click on this to open and it will open right away so let's wait for this to be opened and this is now the interface of this jet brains lidar you have to wait uh, for a couple of seconds for uh, um, the software itself to launch so we, are, we, ha we have to wait for like milliseconds. I hope to take a, a short time to launch. 
So let's wait. And when you reach here, to ask you if you want to import settings. If you have a file that contains the settings that you pre made, um, you can go ahead and configure using the file or directory. But in this case, I do not want to import any settings. So go ahead and check this option and go ahead and press on OK and to bring back the interface and we have to wait for a couple of seconds again all right and it will also bring this i'm going to to press on skip import and i will have to choose this uh, theme if you have uh, if you like to use the right theme you can choose from this one or if you like the dark one you can choose from this one but i like to choose this one and i'm going to go on the next and here now it is asking me to choose the color uh, scheme i'm going to choose this and press on next and i will also press on next and the environment it is uh, asking me if i want to install all this one and i'm going to next default plugins and also i'm going to go here and the last step is now to start using the JetBrains LiDAR. Go ahead and press on start using the JetBrains LiDAR. And to also bring this back and allow access. And this is now, this is the uh, recent activation that is it is now asking me. If you have a, a JetBrains account and you have the license, you can go ahead and ins um, and put your license in here and as you can see we have now try we tried to access this for free i'm going to choose this and it will also tell me to go and put my email address if i want to be uh, sent some uh, other updates and you can go ahead and uh, choose evaluate and this uh, we also give me this that i have the third days left go ahead and press on continue and let's wait for a couple of seconds for this to be opened again okay. all right cool this is now the welcome screen that we we can see and you can see that we, there is a bunch of options that you can choose from there is a new uh there's a new project or new solution tab there is this open if you have the other project or there is now some tutorials and the uh, attached to process you can go and explore but i, I want to try for this new one so as to see uh, how to go so click on here of course we need to have to choose uh, this solution for example let me call this one uh, hano media right and you click on create and to try to sync with the project templates so we have to wait for a couple of seconds for this to be done and uh, let's wait for this all right so now this is done uh let's wait for another couple seconds and you can see now it is loading the components so we have to wait for this now to be done and right here you can see now we are successfully installed our environment and we are now ready to start doing our works using this IDE, this JetBrains LiDAR. And I hope you guys find this very, very helpful and interesting. Let me know in the comment if you met with any error or you met they meet with any problem and they will come and help you and i will try to uh get to you back soon uh, as soon as possible and get back to your questions that you met using the uh, way that you performing the installation and like always before you leave you have to support me to grow my channel by pressing the right button and share this video with your friends and if you are coming on this channel for the first time and you find that it's worth subscribe and you want to help me at all go ahead and press on the subscribe button once and remember to turn on the bell icon to get more videos like this one and it will be an honor so like always stay cool and peace